All right, so integration day, uh, day zero at Warren Officer Candidate School. Uh, it's gonna start off actually, well, one day or maybe even two days before when they give you what's called an op board. Uh, for you street to seaters who don't know what an op board is, it's an operational order. Um, and it basically details to you uh, how that day is going to go, at least how the integration day is gonna go. Uh, the process. Um, prior service members will know uh, how an op board works, how to read it. It's uh, super jargon heavy. It's super complicated. I got it and I looked at it and I was like, uh, okay. Um, but uh, basically it's going gonna, it's gonna to detail to you that what you have to do is out process from HHC, uh, from higher command and headquarters, um, and in process to Warren Office Candidate School. And all the candidates have to, basically it just means all the candidates have to move their stuff from the barracks they were staying at while in processing to the barracks they're gonna be staying at uh, for, um, for the remainder of the course, right? And basically what happens, what the, what the document says is you're gonna put your bags out uh, ready for, for transport and then you're going to meet the cadre and then you'll from the cadre you're going to go grab your bags and put them into the into the barracks and that is what's called the bag drag that's that's the first part of of integration day now when i went through integration day that was it um and they have made it harder since so be ready for that i guess and i'll tell you how they made it harder in just a little bit so when i went through and this is what hap what will happen when you go through um, you start at super early in the morning, I think it's three o'clock in the morning, start putting your bags in a little like holding area per se. And then you, you start to get ready. Once all the bags are ready and at a certain time, I think it's like five or four or 30, maybe five in the morning. Um, you all get, you all line up in formation and then you go and meet the cadre, right? So that's according to the op board. And then everything goes haywire. So once you meet the cadre, uh, somebody does something wrong. Typically, it's the class leader doesn't salute right or, or whatever. Um, and the cadre will send you all to the grass, right? Um, and they call it grass, but like half of the grass is no longer grass because there's been too many people getting smoked on there. So getting smoked or getting sent to the grass, uh, for those of you who don't know, just means the the TAC officers there, and TAC officers stands for Training, Advising, and Counseling. They're basically the drill sergeants of Warren Officer Candidate School. Um, they basically stand over you and PT you uh, until you die, right? No, it's not true. It's not that bad. Uh, but you, you do PT for, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour uh, in the grass. Uh, Push-ups, sit-ups, leg lifts half jacks, squats, you name it, you do it, right? Um, and then once, and then at this point, uh, and I think I talked about the warrant officer definition already. Uh, if I haven't, I'm gonna talk about it now. Before you go to basic training, or indefinitely before you start warrant officer candidate school, you'll wanna have memorized the warrant officer definition or the definition of the Army warrant officer. Because at this point, if integration day, they're going to pull you back out of the grass and tell you to recite from memory the warrant officer definition. It's just very much like uh, having to know the soldier's creed, the general orders in basic training, right? Uh, and what they'll do is everybody will start saying it and, and the attack officers will walk around in the formation trying to find people who aren't saying it, who don't know it. And if they don't know it, and they can, they can tell that they're just mumbling through it, they'll send them back to the grass. And uh, eventually you'll be left with only the people who know it outstanding information. Uh, when I went through, nobody knew it. <laughs> and so the TAC officers were pretty upset. Um, but if you know it, then you end up getting merit points. And I'll talk about the point system uh, in a later video. But basically, uh, you just know the warrant officer definition before you start integration day. 
After that, uh, they'll pull everybody back off of the grass, and then they'll tell them to initiate phase two, which is the backtrack, which is where you essentially were going to do there uh, at the beginning. You go, everybody grabs their bags. It's in groups of three to five. Everybody has to carry a bag in their left hand so they can still salute with their right hand. Um, and it's just like, actually, it's a lot like the, the shark attack and basic training. I know they, they got rid of the shark attack and basic training, but uh, you're basically moving your stuff, putting it in another place, and they, they use the, the, he the heft, the heaviness of your bag to, to kind of smoke you. Um, and now when I went through, that was it. We moved our stuff, uh, and then we had the, that Friday and the weekend to get our, our lockers in order, our lockers, our barracks in order. Uh, and then on Monday, we had rifle PRT or rifle PT. And basically that just, that just means, uh, running around from one field to another field in, on Fort Rucker, carrying a rifle in your, in, uh, in your, in your OCPs, your combat uniform. And you run from one place to another and you get smoked at that one place. Then you run from one place to another and you get smoked again. You from one place to another, and you get smoked again, and then you come back and call it a day. So now the and that was Monday for me. So at Friday integration day, which was kind of kind of sucky, and then the weekend, and then Monday PRT kind of sucky, and then we started off with uh, the training events. Now, the reason why your integration day will be harder is because they've combined integration day or bag drag with rifle PRT. So you will start, when I started a uh, bag drag, it was at two o'clock in the afternoon. You will start bag drag at around three o'clock in the morning and then do rifle PRT starting at five or six, whenever they, for PT time. And you will do rifle PRT that same day. And that is a rough time. At least I can imagine, I don't know. At the end of the day, uh, it's really not that hard. It's gonna be five hours of suckiness um but you're gonna be fine if you if you just came from basic training it, you're gonna be fine and and the best part about it is that's the hardest physical thing you will do until seer school uh warren officer candidate school it's not that physical anymore uh i know i've watched some videos where people say the physical part is is pretty hard uh not anymore at least it wasn't for me uh you do pt kind of heavy in the beginning uh you get smoked a little bit in the beginning but after week two into three and four and five it, it's hardly anything um they expect you to keep that up on your own so that's basically it for integration day you'll just have to do those two things um all at once and and on that first formation i guess i forgot to say you know when they ask for the when they ask for the definition and all that they'll they'll be looking for any little thing that you have wrong on you uh to to give you negative points and again i'll go over these the the the, the point system in a later video but they're they're looking to weed people out they're not going to actually weed anybody out at least not anymore i, I don't I, all the classes that I saw go through while I was here, I don't think anybody quit or anything like that. So, uh, but they'll be looking to make your life hard for sure. Uh, and, and like I said, the merits is, is the point system and I'll make a video about the merits. Uh, I will say if you are a bad runner, don't be a road guard and, um, a road guard is an additional duty, which actually brings me to my next video, which is, additional duties in Warren Officer Candidate School. So just hold on tight for that. We'll do those.